what your favorite flavor of ice cream is? My favorite flavor of ice cream, uh, I don't know, I'm pretty simple. I'll probably have to go with vanilla or some sort of Oreo. Do they have Oreo ice cream in Manitoba? They do, surprisingly, you know. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's great, I love it. That's great. And my other question is, do you prefer the big city or a, a small town? Uh, you know, obviously I come from a small town, so I like it here, but uh, you know, a quiet lifestyle I, uh, I appreciate as well. So if I had to choose, probably, uh, probably a quieter lifestyle. Thank you so much. How do you think she did? You know, you're interviewed by some tough reporters out there. How do you think she did? She did really good. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to come up with a question with, you know, with the camera in your face and the light shining in your face. So she did a really good job. I bet you like those questions, the simple, the ice cream questions, better than the hard-hitting ones they give you in the dressing room, eh? Yeah, it's a little easier to answer, I guess. All right, well, I have a hard-hitting question for you. Uh, who are you most excited to meet here of all the other teams? Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's fun to see all the Marlies guys again. I mean, I keep in touch with some of them, but I don't see them too often. But, um, you know, any of them. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge soccer fan, you know, and I, I, went, I went to a game a while ago, and it was one of the most exciting games I've been to. So to meet some of the FC guys would be pretty sweet. Sounds good. Well, thanks so much, James. Yeah, you bet. Thank you. All right, I'm your buddy Chancellor from Marlies.ca. I'm here with... Scott Fisher. Scott, what up, buddy? How you doing? I'm pretty good. What one of the guys do you want to interview here at the Players Gala? Uh, well, I don't know. Joe Colburn, pretty big fan of him. So if I can get him on tape. Okay, I've spoken to Joe a couple times here and there. I can help you through the interview. What kind of questions do you want to ask him? Uh, well, we're at Real Sports, so uh, I wonder how often he comes here and what his favorite thing on the menu is. Not a bad idea. Cup pop quiz for you. Do you know how tall Joe is? Uh, he's probably like around 6'5". Yeah, that's actually dead on. Hey Joe, how's it going tonight? Great. I'm Scott. Scott with who? Uh, I'm Scott with, uh, I don't know. <laughs> with Leeds TV, with the Marlies. Uh, so how's your season going so far? Uh, pretty good, you know, we got a few good old guys like him who are uh, showing us the ropes and uh, you know, I'm sure he's going to be hanging them up soon because, you know, his body's breaking down. But, uh, you know, hopefully he can, you know, stand up throughout the playoffs and, and take us to the promised land. Oh, yeah? He'll be carrying on his back. Nice. So on the road, uh, do you guys have iPads or what do you guys do in the hotel room to pass time? Well, Ziggy spends the whole time planning out his next vegan meal, but uh, the rest of us, we're playing cards or we're on our iPads, yeah. All right. What's the what's most competitive game on the team? Risk, 100%. We get some intense games. Like Orzy, when RZ plays, it's a battle. For, yeah. It's a battle for world domination. There, there's literally been a few times I thought Orzy might take a swing at me. Really? Oh yeah. Uh, that's uh, pretty interesting. Not what I was expecting. Yeah. Nice. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for your time. And can I have a drink? Yeah. Thanks for whatever you need. Too. I appreciate that one. <laughs> whatever you need. We've talked a few times. We've done this interview back and forth. Am I at risk of losing my job? He's already better than you. First time, he's already better than you. I quit. Okay, we're, well, this is what we're going to figure out, Lindsay. I'm here with Lindsay. Lindsay just asked me what kind of questions we should ask a basketball player. We're going to be talking to Jared Bayless in a minute. He's hanging out just over there. And Lindsay is going to do all the fun stuff. So if you were to meet a basketball player for the first time, what, what would you ask them?
I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here. Um, this has been at least six months in the works for us. Um, a huge, huge night for Maple Leaf Sports Entertainment to bring all of our athletes under one roof. 90 all together that are going to be mixing and mingling with our fans, getting to sign autographs, for, which normally they would probably not get to do. Yellow House was engaged by Team Up and Maple Leaf Sports to help them. Um, they already had an amazing event last year, so they just wanted to take it up at yet another level and always looking to do even better. So they brought us in to help them provide some extra hands and some extra support and design support and overall event management. So we've been able to do that. Six months in the making from our end, we've been on it for a couple of months working with MLSC, trying to assist them with everything from getting this red carpet down that's so beautiful, to working out the menus, to working out how the players are going to come in, so we're really excited.